This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I generate symmetrical polygroups around a cylinder? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and the question is asking about taking a cylinder object and then creating symmetrical polygroups around it. So as an example, I'm just going to navigate over the tool palette over here, and I'm just going to select the cylinder 3D object, and then I'm going to click and drag to drag that into my scene here, and then press T or click the edit option here to make sure I'm in edit mode. After I have this drawn out, I want to go to the tool palette over here again, and I want to click make poly mesh 3D. After this is done, if I turn on my poly frames, I should have something like this. So a cylinder with edge loops, and then the caps are going to a single point. So now with my cylinder here, let's say I want to start generating some polygroups here. So maybe I want to come through and I want to generate some polygroups at this area, but I want to repeat it across the entire object. So the first thing we need to do is we need to activate radial symmetry. So we can navigate to the transform palette here and then come down here to active symmetry and make sure that's turned on. Here we want to toggle the R button here, which is going to enable radial symmetry. And then next we want to change our symmetry option here to how our cylinder is positioned. So currently with X, you see I'm going to get a radial of eight like so, but I want it to go in this direction. So I need to go back to that transform palette and I need to change from the X symmetry to Y symmetry and then turn X off. Now I have the radial symmetry enabled and it's being rotated around the Y axis and it's giving me a count of eight. So if I come across my cylinder here and hover over it, you're going to see I'm going to get eight little pips here that are rotating around the y-axis of that cylinder. So now that I have my radial symmetry set up, I can now start generating polygroups. One way to do this is by using masking. So I can come across the vertices in an area. I can hold down control, which is going to activate the mask pen, and then I can click and drag, and this is going to mask those vertices. Now you want to make sure that when you do this, that you're masking all the vertices surrounding the polys that you want to apply a new polygroup to. So you can see as I come around these vertices here, this area in the center is now receiving this dark mask. So now that I have this area masked, I can now take this mask and turn it into a polygroup. To do this, you can go to the tool palette, then go down to the polygroups area, and in here there is a group masked clear mask button. This can also be applied with the hotkey control W. This is going to take the masked portion of your model. It's going to then generate a new polygroup to that area. So pressing control W or clicking this option here is going to take that masking and now give me a new polygroup in that area. So now I've successfully gone through, applied some masking, and now created a new polygroup in that radial fashion around my cylinder. I can continue this by holding down that control again and masking out the vertices that are surrounding the polys. After they are masked, press Control W again, and this is now going to give me a new polygroup. So that is one way using masking they can apply polygroups in a radial fashion. Now another way that works well, so if I come over here and auto groups this to get one single polygroup across my mesh, is that if your model has low topology, like this cylinder here, you can also use the Z Modeler brush. So I can come over to the brush palette here and open this up, and then I can come down to the bottom here and locate the Z Modeler brush. The Z Modeler brush is a context sensitive brush, so if you hover over a poly, an edge, or a point, you're going to be able to perform different actions. So if you hover over a poly and then press spacebar, you're going to open up the poly action menu. And in here, we want to locate the action of poly group. So I can select poly group here and then make sure my target is a single poly. And now if I come across a polygon and click, this is going to apply a new polygroup to that area. So I can use this option to just come through and single click and start adding polygroups across my surface. If I want to process multiple polys at the same time, you can hold down the Alt button and then click and drag. And this is going to give you a temporary polygroup. So wherever I apply this temporary polygroup, now, if I come across that area and click, it will now apply a polygroup to all those areas that contained that temporary polygroup. So let's do that process one more time. So I'm coming over here and click auto groups. Just give me a new polygroup here. So I'm going to hover over a poly. I'm going to click, and this will now assign a new polygroup to that. If I hold down alt and click, I can start assigning temporary polygroups. 
And then after these temporary polygroups are applied, I can then click and apply polygrouping to those temporary areas. Now, if I want a different polygroup, when I'm actually applying the polygroup, if you click the poly and then tap Alt, this will cycle through different polygroup colorings. So you can come through and now click Alt while holding down, and this will give you a new polygroup color. And now you can come through and start applying different polygroups to those areas using that radial symmetry. You can also use the Alt function again to apply that temporary polygroup, and then clicking will now apply that polygroup across that area. So to recap, the first thing you want to do to apply polygrouping across a radial fashion on a cylinder is first going to the transform palette here, activating symmetry, making sure you have radial symmetry turned on, and then set the axis in which you want that radial symmetry processed at. Then you can use ZModeler Brush using the poly action of polygroup, or you can hold down control and use the masking option to mask out areas on your model and then pressing Control w will assign a new polygroup that way. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!